This is WOCA News Talk 1370. This is James Snyder inviting you to join me each Sunday morning at 9.30 for Sunday Joy on 1370 AM 96.3 FM. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! All right, 25 minutes before 10 o'clock. This is a fun interview that we have right now. Craig Pittman is on the phone. You know, I have on my uh, my phone a Google Alert thing, and, and you can set it up. I'm guessing everybody knows about this. And, and so on my Google Alert thing, because I do the news here and, and other interests, I have like uh, red flag words. I don't know if that's what they call them. That's what I call them. Um, and so if, if there's a story about Florida, it'll say, hey, you got a story about Florida, a story about Ocala. We got that. You know, you know just different things like that. Um, and so this morning I saw one and I clicked on it and it was about this very book. Mm-hmm. What a coincidence. It was in the New York Post of all places. It's, it's actually a story in the New York Post about this uh, and I, I, I'm trying to remember yeah I think Craig actually wrote the story yeah I'm looking at it right now yeah, yeah why Why we always count on Florida to go bats crazy bats T crazy bats T crazy um, Craig is an award winning reporter columnist for Florida's largest newspaper the Tampa Bay Times he's a native Floridian and he wrote the popular blog for the slate titled Oh Florida and his book is called Oh Florida How America's Weirdest State Influences the Rest of the Country a lot of this stuff is funny. A lot of this stuff is a little embarrassing. Yeah. And some of this stuff is really like, oh, like something to be proud of. So exactly. it's, it's kind of kind of cool, uh, the collection that Craig has put together. Good morning, Craig. Good morning. Where are you calling from? Oh, I'm from uh, St. Petersburg. All right. Well, thank you for being on the air. This, You know what this is? This is every radio announcer's dream. Just get this book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got. That was my goal. That, you, that's been my goal in life. You've got talking you points. You've got talking points for all of us. We will, I mean, we can take this <laughs> take this for a long time. Uh, and, and if we were to try to think of some of these things, there's no way we'd come up with as many as you have. So, <laughs> well, thank you. This thank is you. this is fun. You know the machete part too. It's, it's kind of like you want to cringe with the machete stuff. It's like, mm-hmm. gosh, there, has there been that many machete attacks in Florida? <laughs> oh, good heavens, yes, and many more since the ones I wrote about in the book. Oh, isn't that crazy? But, I mean, I have a friend who jokes that they give them out at the state line along with a, little, a glass of orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> do they still do the orange juice? I, I haven't. Uh, been. I th- I th- if you pull into the welcome station, you still you can still get a little orange juice. Really, yeah. I haven't been there in a while. Um, <laughs> so th- this is fun. So you you grew up here you were born here yes I'm, I'm a native floridian so somebody asked me how long it took me to write the book and i said either seven months or a lifetime depending on how you want to count it depending on how you look at it yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so are you are you do you have a lot of relatives and friends who don't live here uh i have a few yeah but they come back to visit and say hmm so everything's changed but everything's the same <laughs> i say yes <laughs> That's wonderful. I love that. and so what we get what we get a lot i'm guessing you get it too is somebody from new york or wisconsin or wherever they're from they'll say oh my gosh uh i'm looking at the map right now and you guys are getting pummeled because there's like a storm outside or something yeah. and i look out the window and it's like eh, it's not exactly the way it looks <laughs> <laughs> no. And, of course, every every Floridian, every Floridian has a story about the day it rained in the front yard and not the backyard, or the day it rained on one side of the street and not the other. You know? that, <laughs> and you know what I wonder yeah. about that? I mean, is Florida the only place this happens? I, 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 it seems well, like... Well, we've got... Our weather is very special. You know, we are the lightning capital of the of the United States, uh, and we get more hurricanes making landfall here than anywhere else. So, uh, you know, that's that's part of our many many great attributes, like being the shark capital, shark attack capital of the world, and yet we call it paradise. You know, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, he, he, here in Ocala we have Silver Springs, and part of the mm-hmm. history of yep. Silver Springs is the photographs that a photographer named Bruce Mozart took years and years ago. Yes, showing photos. Yes, showing girls yep. under water and mm-hmm. and and so part of the attraction to this area was kind of a misguided attraction because people were coming here hoping to see girls underwater <laughs> and is, 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 i mean it wasn't enough just to have glass bottom boats in a beautiful park but they yeah, had to right yeah 
No, there had to be that had to be that sex appeal. Also, well, you know, we we've been using sex to sell Florida since the 1920s, at least when uh, Carl Fisher would would dress women in in what were then considered skimpy bathing suits and trot them out on the beach in, in the middle of December and take pictures that would then be sent to the newspapers up north. So people up there who were shivering would look at that and go, "Oh wow, they're out on the beach and almost nothing, and we should go down and visit." So, so, <laughs> you know? exactly. so I'm going to tell you my age. I'm 61, and I'm doing I'm doing that for this reason because when I was a younger guy, like in the 70s, I was uh, a musician, and I would and I lived here, but I would drive to New York quite frequently, and on, in New Jersey, I get stopped all the time, mm-hmm. and and the reason was because I had Florida license plates on my car. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. And, yeah. And, and I had and I had smuggling stuff. Yeah, and I had long hair. And what do you think? What do you think was the reputation? What are we smuggling from Florida? Guns. Yeah. <laughs> in the seventies, guns. In the eighties, cocaine. Oh, 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 is that right? See, I wasn't doing it. Yeah, yeah. You know, now it'd probably be you know meth or something like that. Yeah, I had an accordion case in my trunk, and they, the the oh, high, well, the no wonder they pulled it over. The, <laughs> the New Jersey. Tr- you can't bring that in. You can't bring it in here, buddy. Right. The New Jersey Highway Patrol would go uh, open up the trunk, then see my suitcase, and what? Open up the suitcase. What's in there? And I say, an accordion. <laughs> open it up. I don't. They were thinking guns were going to fall. Out. Yeah, right. Yeah. They would Did see- they make you play it? Did they make you play it to no. prove that it really wasn't a court? Okay. T- typically, it ended like this. Okay, have a good day. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some of the nice, uh, the pretty things you have in there, talking about springs, you have the Three Sisters Springs, and we talk about that all the time up here because oh, yeah. the manatees are most incredible over there, and it's some of the nicest, yeah. uh, pl- uh, you know, water to go and swim and oh, picnic absolutely. by. Yeah. See, and manatees to me are the perfect example of how you can't have the cool stuff in Florida without having the crazy also. The two kind of go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, because, you know, manatees, the Florida's the one state where you can see manatees. You can come visit them. You can even swim with them in Citrus County. Um, uh, and yet you also have these people who think, oh, there's an endangered species. Let's let me jump on its back and ride it around like <laughs> it's a <laughs> fucking <laughs> bronco. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why would you think that was okay? But there are people here who do that, and then and they get in trouble for it and go, oh, I had no idea. I know. And that made, and that <laughs> made in, international news, that lady riding yes, on the did. back. Yeah. Yes, they did. That poor woman, her you know, her pictures of her thighs were flashed around the world. <laughs> you know, That's so right. I get suffered from that. She went to Jenny Craig after that. Let me tell you. I would hope so. I would hope so. So as you're, as you're putting the book together, are you attempting to keep it level? In other words, because you've got some things that we could be embarrassed about, some things that are just kind of tragic that, you know, they're, they're part of our legacy. But then yeah. there's some stuff that we're proud of also. Did you do that on purpose so that it would be yes. leveled out? Yes. Yeah, I, I wanted people to, I mean, I figured this book, this is the right time for this book with the presidential election going on, because, you know, if chances are good, we're going we're gonna to wind up to be the swing and sw- up swing states once again, and, yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and, and be in the news again, and people were going, oh, Florida. But I wanted, to, I wanted to try to explain to people, okay, this is what Florida's about. Yeah, we do crazy stuff. Yeah, crazy stuff happens here. But on the other hand, there's also this cool stuff that's happened that's probably changed your life, maybe even for the better. I mean, the guy who invented the computer grew up in Polk County uh, and w- became fascinated with his dad's slide rule. His dad was a phosphate mining engineer, and that's sort of what started him on his road to making the computer. Um, Jeff Bezos, the guy who started Amazon, he started his first business in Miami. If it had right? been a failure, If it had been a failure, we might never have heard of him, hmm. you know? Um, so there's lots that. of cool stuff like that. Yeah, uh, Ray Charles learned to play the piano in St. Augustine. I remember how hearing that. Poorer, I remember hearing yeah, how that, much yeah. poorer would our lives be if we if we didn't have him, you know, if we didn't, had never heard him singing America the Beautiful. Oh, that's so, nice. So, yeah. So the part of the, the subtitle which says uh, how America's weirdest state influences the rest of the country, the, we influence the rest of the country with the good stuff, hopefully not the bad stuff, right? <laughs> well, so, I mean, you know, uh, it depends on how you want to look at it. I mean, our, our stand your ground law has been copied by lots of other states. That's true. Yeah. Um, um, our concealed weapons law, same thing. Um, if you like gambling, this is a good thing. If you don't, this is a bad thing. But uh, the first Indian casino opened in Florida, and the court case and over that kicked the door open for all the other Indian gambling casinos around the country. Oh, I didn't so, know. That. Yeah, so I mean, there, you know, there there's good and bad that influences everything. So, um, 
And I told some stories the 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 massive civil rights uh, demonstrations in St. Augustine, which were bloody and brutal, uh, mm-hmm. and led to Martin Luther King getting arrested. One of the three places in America where he got arrested, ultimately got the Civil Rights Act passed. So a bad thing happened in Florida, but it helped a good thing to happen for the rest of the country. Hmm. And you also have mafia personalities in your book. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, Meyer Lansky down in Miami and Santo Mm -hmm. Traficante Jr. uh, in in Tampa. And they were running the the Cuban casinos um, uh, as well as, you know, running gambling here in Florida. So uh, I particularly love there's one story about Meyer Lansky about that that some good government types tried to shut down a, a casino that he owned in Hallandale. And they went to court and got a got a court order to shut it down. And so he looked at the court order and gave a few orders. And so his crew went out and completely tore down that building and then rebuilt it on an adjacent piece of property no, and wow. gave it a new name oh, because no. it wasn't covered by the court order. And they <laughs> business business went right on from there. And the government people were like, oh, shoot. Because <laughs> 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 he owned so much property, they figured he'd just keep doing it over and over again. So they gave up. <laughs> one, one of the things that we have come to be known for is the uh, the gated communities, the 55-plus communities. And, mm-hmm. and yes. some of our friends up north can't figure it out. You mean you can't live there unless you're 55? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Uh, well, t- uh, the today's National Mojito Day, by the way, and this is a Florida. Oh, Florida, good. And and, and, and that's uh, the favorite drink of Ernest, Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> did, you, did you know that? What if? Well, I did not know that. I thought he uh, thought he was a. I thought his favorite drink was whatever was close. Uh, <laughs> there you go. That. Well, whoever 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 names days national days must have just picked on this one drink. Maybe they, maybe there's a self interest on that. Maybe they know. Maybe they knew it was Monday and we needed a little help getting through. <laughs> there was a story, uh, gosh, a few years ago about a storm that was washing up gold coins from a sunken pirate ship down in South Florida. Do you remember that story? I don't remember that, but I mean, lots of interesting stuff washes up on on shore here in Florida. It's the pioneers. It must have made life feel completely random to them because a lot of them got their wood, their cooking material, and so forth just by cruising the beach and picking up things that were washed ashore from wrecked ships. Uh, one pioneer remembers a story about uh, uh, 300 casks of Spanish wine washing up, and there was wow. no shipwreck. There was no shipwreck to be seen anywhere. Uh, and uh, but my favorite one is is the shipload of coconuts that washed up on shore. And so the pioneers took all the coconuts and they planted some of them, and that's how Palm Beach got its name. Is that right? Wow. <laughs> yes, because the palms from the from those coconuts that washed ashore. <laughs> uh, is that true? I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? That's okay. True. Yeah. <laughs> the book is called Oh Florida. It's written by Craig Pittman. We're having a really great time, but we have to take a little break. But we're coming back, so don't go away, Craig. Um, we'll continue with this on the other side. Oh Florida, how America's weirdest state influences the rest of the country, and you can only call it weird if you're from Florida. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to. <laughs> That seems fair. Yeah, you, 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 you can do that if you're from Florida. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. This Monday, some sunshine with a thunderstorm around during the afternoon and evening hours, the high 92 to 96. And partly cloudy Monday night, low 73 to 77. Tuesday, sunshine mixing with clouds. There'll be a heavier thunderstorm around at the afternoon, the high 91 to 95. And on Wednesday, partly sunny with a thunderstorm in some places, the high again, 91 to 95. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. On this episode of What Not to Do, brought to you by Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. I love vacations, but it's good to come home. Um, is the pool overflowing? We don't have a pool, and even if we did, it wouldn't be on the second floor. Oh. I told you before we left to turn off the water main. I thought you said take down the weather vane. We don't have one of those either. Yeah, I was wondering why you said that. It does make more sense now. Okay, genius. Don't just stand there. Cut the main water off. Okay, I'll get the chainsaw. Wait, what? No! What do we do when there's a plumbing issue? Oh, I got this one. I'll be right back. I said no chainsaw. Shut the water off and call Mike Scott Plumbing. Uh, Of course. I definitely was not going for the blowtorch. Uh Uh-huh. The number should be etched in your memory, but just in case, 866-314-4443. Okay, got it. 866-314-4443. On next week's episode of What Not To Do. Really? A mariachi band? 
Hi, this is JP from Pen Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall -wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Pen Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Pen Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Hi, my name is Erica Olstein. I'm a doctor of acupuncture and oriental medicine. So, you used to be wired, now you're just tired. You used to be thin, but now you're the heaviest you've ever been. You don't necessarily always have to take a med if your thyroid is playing dead. If you have a thyroid disorder, an acupuncture visit may be in order. Come visit me, your primary care physician, Erica Olstein, at A Better You Healthcare. Call me at 352-615-5566. All right, 10 minutes before 10 o'clock, having a great interview with Craig Pittman. He's down in St. Petersburg, I think he said, right? Yes. Or Clearwater? Uh, oh, Florida, how America's weirdest state influences the rest of the country. And uh, Craig is the author of the book, of course. Uh, thank you, Craig, for, for waiting through the break. As we were taking the break, I was flipping through the book, and I, and I saw the photo of the Capitol building. Mm -hmm. and yes. <laughs> and and it, reminded, yep. it reminded me that, uh, ba oh, gosh, I'm, when was that building built? I was, I was dating a girl. Uh, 70s, yeah. Yeah, in the 70s. So I was dating her back then, and she was a, a, a Florida native and uh, was not happy with the new design. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? I'll let you. Do you want to stay? Why or should no, I? No, I, I, that's, that's that's your job. Yes, your job. <laughs> uh, well, it was voted to be the one public building in the world that most greatly resembled a part of the human anatomy, yeah. the male anatomy. <laughs> let's <Yeah>. say <laughs> the, the word phallic. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, uh, and and it, once you see that, once somebody points it out, you can't unsee it. Every time you look at it, you go, oh, I oh, know. Yeah. I, kn I know. <laughs> I, I know. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like when people walk in to see the Statue of David, the most commonly heard phrase is, oh, my. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, I mean, it was built by this, it was designed by this very distinguished architect, but the people in, the, in Tallahassee had rejected his initial design, so my guess is this was his response, sort of a, a concrete version of the flipping the bird out. Oh, <laughs> so, really? really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you talk about NASA and the space program here uh, in Florida, which is really amazing and incredible, the history, and then you run the gamut and go over to the creative genius of Walt Disney. Yes, yeah, and, and, you know, because when NASA was here, uh, everybody was saying, oh, you know, Florida, we're the, you know, we're the state of tomorrow, all these cities were, we're the cities of the future, and then once they completed the uh, the landing on the moon, the, you know, it was a company town, that was their, that was their big goal, they said, okay, we can start scaling back the workforce, laying people off, suddenly it wasn't quite as, as big a deal anymore, and then Disney opens up down the road, and he says, "Oh, I've got the city of tomorrow right here," <laughs> you know, and and uh, and so it, you know, it's kind of ironic that that Cape Canaveral sort of became this uh, glorified tourist attraction. Although now it's it's reviving as uh, all of these private companies are are moving in, right, right, to, right, right, trying right. to do shots from there. In um, but but I mean Disney, you know, when when Disney came in, he was assembling all this land, and he didn't want people to know that it was him. They didn't know it was his company that was buying up this land because then it would be they'd jack up the prices, and it was mm -hmm. apparently worthless land because it was all swampy. So he went through a, an attorney in Miami who was uh, had been had worked with the CIA and had worked with people involved in running drugs and had worked with the mafia. And so in the book, I point out, okay, does it make you feel a little uncomfortable that kindly old Uncle Walt was working with this guy who was tied in with the CIA and the mafia and, and drugs, well, in Florida, we call that Feeling Tuesday. So, <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you by, the, by chance, do you know Nick Puglis? He, he worked for the Tampa, Tampa Tribune. Is that, I know the name. I know the name. I've never met him. Sports, sports yeah. guy. Well, and, yes. anyway, so we, when you're in Florida, and I'm sure you get this being with the newspaper, other parts of the country will call to see as a news outlet what's, what's going on. So in 2004, yeah. there was a storm called Hurricane Francis, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and I, I'm su I suppose you remember this, and I remember getting calls yep. here at the radio station, and they're asking about Hurricane Francis, but they're also asking about a news item that's coming out of Key West, <laughs> where these college guys are running around with shirts that say, pantsless for Francis, mm -hmm. and they are exactly pantsless. <laughs> exactly. And, and I said to Robin, we got, w I don't, haven't heard this story, what is this story? So apparently it was making the rounds around the country, and 
It was just a bunch of guys running around with no pants on. That's right. <laughs> so with their t-shirts. In, in the hurricane. Well, because <laughs> any excuse for that. You know, you know, Florida is where streaking got started in the 70s. It started at, at uh, Florida State University. Is that right? Um, yeah, and and you know, of course, spread like wildfire across the country. And the the UPI United Press and International reporter who first reported the story, he said he bumped into Bob Woodward of Watergate fame not long afterwards, and he said, you know, you brought down a presidency, but my story got college kids across the country to take their clothes off. So I think our <laughs> achievements are about equal. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, part of the book also deals with some of the criminals that we've had. Robin already mentioned the mafia. Um, um, yes. So yeah. You, you covered yeah. some of those. We've had our own share of horrible contributions to that here in our central Florida area. So, some some bad. Well, I mean, bad ones like you know Ted Bundy, Eileen Warnos. They're they're in there. Uh, Danny Rowling, who inspired the Scream movie series. Mm-hmm. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, one of our probably the most our most influential criminal was Clarence Gideon, whose case led to uh, everybody getting public defenders to defend them on, on, uh, on felony cases. You know, without him, a lot of folks would still be representing themselves, and that wouldn't work too well. Yeah, there, was another, um, there was a big story down in your area, the young lady who was uh, in a vegetable state. Remember, she was, they want the family. Oh, Shiva. That's Jerry right. Shiva. That's, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's in the book. That's in the book, because it was so, there's such a great Florida twist to it that all these people were, were getting very excited about the case because of a, a video that appeared to show her following a balloon around the room with her eyes mm-hmm. and responding to commands to look at the balloon. And then after after all the hoopla, you know, ultimately it was sort of a constitutional crisis with Congress trying to tell the Supreme Court what to do and the Supreme Court saying, we don't want to touch that case. It's it's already been dealt with on the local level. And then she she dies and they do an autopsy and discover that she was blind. Oh. She couldn't see the balloon after all. That was some story. Wow. Yeah. Were you an equal opportunity offender when it came to politicians? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, in the 70s, we had all kinds of, uh, when the Democrats were in charge, we had all kinds of political corruption. And, you know, now with Republicans in charge, well, you know. Still. Sauce <laughs> for the goose is sauce for the gander. That's right. So. <laughs> That's right. It happens. It happens. You know, and so, yeah, you know, and, and, uh, uh, one of my favorite ones was a, a, a Central Florida legislator who had, you know, very strong on family values and had written letters criticizing Disney for having gay days, and then he was caught with a prostitute. Um, <laughs> <in his truck. laughs> um, yeah. Who's that? Who's that? Def- committing what the law defines as an unnatural act, and <laughs> and um, it was uh, you know, and the, one of the one of the uh, officers said, if it had been a fire, we would have called it fully involved. So <laughs> <laughs> you have you have written a book that we're all going to love. Um, the book is called Oh Florida, and as much as I'd like to keep it because it'll serve well in show prep, I'm going to give it away. Uh, how America's Weirdest State Influences the Rest of the Country. If you'd like the copy that uh, Craig sent to us, please call me right now and we'll put your name on it. But we only have one, so the rest of us have to go buy it. Uh, Craig, do you have a website? Uh, I do. It's uh, o-florida.com. And it'll give uh, places where people can can buy the uh, can buy the book as well as some other uh, other things that are going on. Well, you also talk about Florida as the anti-aging state because people come here to have all sorts of medical procedures done. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, hey, you know, we had the Fountain of Youth, right? So why not? I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, I would say and this: just look around. There's, there's not an old person here. I don't know where. <laughs> 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 Good morning. You're on the air. You want the book? Yes, please. And who's this? This is Rick. Rick, and you know where we are? Yes, sir, I do. Okay, Rick, you got it. It'll be waiting for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, when did the, when did the book get released, Craig? Uh, last Tuesday. So it's it's hot off the press. Oh, my gosh, the phone's just rang off the hook just now when I when I offered it. So I think you're going to have a hit on your hands. I uh, hope so. Yeah, this is this must have been fun for you to write and fun for you to talk about. It's certainly fun for all of us. And and I mentioned radio announcers, but you know what I can imagine? Just family gatherings. People will be talking about something or other they read in the book. Oh, certainly. Oh, good. I hope so. Well, uh, you know, you, it, w- it was fun to write, but there was one downside to it, one really bad aspect of it and that was I had to cut some things out for space it was <laughs> one of my friends said you know you need you don't need one book you need a 26 volume encyclopedia yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah and every day there's there's stories as I mentioned in oh, the yeah. opening I, I may have this little flash thing on my phone that says you got a Florida story waiting for you and and quite often they're goofy there's something like like the alligator that was climbing the door oh yeah just the other day right yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah conditioning 
Yeah, because they're yeah, air well, conditioned. That's what they said. Yeah. Well, they, they spotted one. They spotted one in a tree in Cape Coral. In yes. A tree. Yes. <laughs> yes. I saw in that. A tree. Yeah. Uh, Holy cow. <laughs> well, Craig, good luck with the book. What an honor to have you Thank on the so show. A sh- a show. Uh, another news guy. I'm just curious if you know him, Buddy Martin. Do you know Buddy's name? Uh, I know him sort of. Yeah. 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 He does a show here um, in the afternoons. Oh, that's great. I'll tell him I said hey. I will do that. Uh, Craig Pittman, thank you so much for being on the air with us today. Thanks for having me. We will take a little break. Be right back. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA. Okay.